Hello everybody and welcome back. A while back I worked on a uh, making costumes for promotion for a video game called For Honor. And in that game there was three characters and I helped make three of the helmets. I took those helmet patterns and made them available in my shop. So I did a video on the Viking helmet, the Samurai helmet, but I have yet to do a video on the Knight helmet. So that's what we're going to do today. So if you guys are ready, let's get started. All right, here it is, the knight pattern. You have uh, three pieces. You have the side of the helmet, the face shield, and the top of the head. Of course, this is the left side. And when you trace, be sure to flip it. For you, this is the left. Flip them for the right. Trace them. And transfer them onto foam. Now, today I'm going to be using 10 millimeter TNT EVA foam. This is great about uh, the EVA foam, especially TNT is a little bit dense. Uh, I have the black today. I'm use the silver sharpie, so we traced everything out. My box cutter now when cutting on this make sure we cut the edges in 90. what i mean by 90 i mean 90 degrees straight up and down now we're moving on to the uh the face shields now in the patterns and the designs i made these we cut these guys out at 90 and i put a bevel cut on this but um i built this helmet several times but on today's um stream i'm gonna do something a little bit different uh there's some new materials that have been introduced that we didn't have in the days when I started building this five years ago. So there's all these cool piping and stuff you can get. This has uh, been donated to me from uh, SKS Props. He shipped me a whole bunch of uh, foam dowels. And this is the half round, which I think would be perfect on the edge of this helmet. So to create the illusion this is metal folded over, I thought it'd be nice to take this edge and not, instead of being 90, I'm going to cut this at a bevel. So I'm going to cut all these edges at a bevel. No more just a blade to what I need. Um, I'm gonna come in, just a bit of an angle. There we go. Now, again, when you cutting this, definitely need the uh, the bevel on the uh, the front helmet. We're gonna do both sides. That's what allows it to give the kind of cool little the triangular peak on the helmet when you glue this together. So, I'm gonna sharpen my blade again. I know I just sharpen it, but again, nothing dulls a blade quicker than soft foam. So, line it up. Got my angle. Perfect. Okay, all the parts have been cut out. We have the right, the lefts. So we got the two top of the helmets, the two sides, and the face shields. Now, before we go any further, we're gonna do some more cutting on the face shield. But what we do, while things flat, this is the best time to cut these things out. So you can lay them down, use a straight edge. So that's what we're going to do. When it's nice and flat, it just makes cutting a lot easier. Now we're a little closer to our subject. We're going to go ahead and uh, let's go and focus on this one first. Now I like using the box cutter because this blade, this thick is uh, this is 10 millimeter thick. So I want to make sure I cut all the way through. Right in there. Make sure it goes all the way through, right to the edge. Perfect. Same on the other side. Now it's cut all the way through. This is where you take the craft knife. So I take the craft knife and just start right there on the edge. On the corners. And voila, look at that. Nice and clean. All right, now we have the uh, the cross cut out. We're going to move on to the um, the eye hole slot there. So same thing. We're going to go ahead and take the knife. Use the metal straight line it up. As you see, I always kind of stop at a certain point and lift up so I don't want to go beyond the, uh, the part I'm going to go. Just going to get this there. Get nice and square, line up. Got it. Other side. Like that. Like that. Right to the edge. Perfect. This one I believe I can do by hand. Right through here. Follow the line. There it is. Okay, we've got the face shields all cut out and ready to go. 
Um, before we start to assemble, again, we do some heat curling. So set these guys aside. The things I really want to focus on the heat curling for us is the uh, this two sides of the helmet and the top of the helmet. Um, just to get them a slight curl before assembly. So I'm going to get my heating board. Got it. Let's start with the top of the helmet pieces. So while it's hot, I kind of rock it on the anvil and just puts a curl into it. Just enough. Ah, perfect. All right. All the foam parts have been heat curled. Now the next step is we're going to start doing some assembly. And so we're going to start with the side of the helmet first. There is a procedure in gluing things, and I always like to start with the dart first. And again, the foam scraps are perfect for getting in there and getting all the stuff you normally cannot get with a brush. Now they're dry. See that registration mark? That's what you want to line up to. Kind of push, pull. Now when you're lining stuff up, I always use my finger to make sure. I always try to try the top touch the top edge first and that's how you limit your seams so they're not so obvious. You try to get the 10 millimeter right on the top edge so it's not so much of a seam. You might get a little bit of gapage but try to minimize as much as you can. We're going to, that's the first step and then the second step is to glue the top of the helmet to the side. I'm going to do these one at a time. If this, let's go ahead and start with the front first. Line it up, nice and flush. Top edge first. Anything we can do to minimize these seams. Now we've got the two halves of the helmets uh, glued together. We could probably glue them together, but I'm going to let this glue dry a little bit longer, so we're going to jump onto the face plate next. All right, so we're going to go ahead and glue these guys together. You can see the curl, the peak, that's the most difficult part. So I like to start with that. I kind of push up on it and touch first. And again, it's all about just touching the, the edges first. Getting the edges. And registration marks. Touch, touch, touch. And now that we have that, go back, push it. Because we're going to go back in like this inside and make sure you close the seam and the gap. So you push it together like that and that. <clears throat> there is our face shield. Now, this is why I like to do this all first, get glued together. Our next step is we're going to cut this out. This is actually recessed. So I find that it's best to do it when it's already glued together. And you just take your, yeah, maybe I should have drew this one I had it already in the, maybe I should have done this when it was flat on the visor. Got it, okay. And just come right inside like so. Now that we've done that, the whole purpose we do is so we can recess this piece back. I'm going to go ahead and apply some glue to the, uh, the piece here and the piece here. I'm going to do the same inside as well. Apply a little glue. You do not want to wait for this to dry. You want to do this while it's still wet. So it gives you some time to kind of float the part in there. Let's see. Just like that. Perfect. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some straight pins pin it in position while the glue uh, solvent evaporates and it'll hold it in place. So I'm going to make sure it doesn't move on me, so I'm going to go ahead and just pin it right there, like that. So while this is drying, I'll set this aside. Now our next step is going to glue the two halves together on the side of the helmets. I'm going to glue the two halves together. I like to start with the front. Touch the top edge first. Got it. All right, I'm going to set this aside, let this dry. Now look at this, I can tell these edges back here, the round ones, a little banged up, kind of hacked them out with the, uh, the blade. I want to clean these up, so I'll get my rotary tool. And I'm going to go ahead and start. Let's see if we can start right here. <clears throat> I'm going to take my knife, and I want to cut a, uh, a bit of a a starting point right here. See where that falls like that? Make a start there. There. Kind of thing I'm gonna go ahead and just apply glue 
No, let's do one side because I always find if I do both sides, I end up putting in my hand and the glue on the other side. So let's just do this edge first. I always like to have my shop pieces of uh, scrap cardboard. And the reason being is when I apply glue, I don't put glue over my table. I just apply it to the uh, the foam, but the cardboard allows me to kind of brush and do broad strokes. Just like that. Now the trick is when I'm applying, I'm going to go make sure we get just right on the edge. All right, our patch job looks great. This is virtually seamless. I love it. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the helmet. Here's the helmet. We're going to do some additional detail on this guy as well. Um, this is the uh, big triangle right here. I like this guy a lot. And we're going to apply this to the top. But what I'm going to do is I'm not going to run it all the way um, down the back. I'm just going to do the top. So I'm going to measure, make our mark. There you go. Now we have the mark in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this at an angle. So it'll, it'll actually, I'm going to cut from the top down. Start from the top and work my way down. And we're going to do the same with the front here as well. Kind of bring it down gradually. All right. I'm just going to go and soften up just a little bit with the rotary tool. Sorry, it goes right here. Straight. And there, see. And by cutting that, see how that just nicely just drops off. Now we got. We're going to move on to the bottom edge here. We've got a smaller triangle that we're going to use for the bottom as well. We're going to do the same technique. We're just going to cut it slight. Okay, we have the trim on the helmet base. We've got the top and the bottom edge on the face shield. We've got the edge here. looks great. We recessed the, uh, the slot here from the eyes. looks great. Now we'll go ahead and I'm going to uh, glue this guy on. Some people out there actually went through the trouble to make these open. But for me, I didn't design it to do that. I just, <laughs> I'm just making it to where I can just glue this straight on. So we're going to do that next. All around. Same thing over here. Mostly concentrate on the uh, contact areas. Right there. You guys can see that. I get that start there, right there. Making contact. And then make contact here. Line it up, kind of line it up, touch it, and the same thing with this part right down here. Line it up. Well, there it is, the face shield's on. Look at that. That is looking awesome. Again, this stuff, the foam trim just really kind of pulls all this detail together, it really makes things pop. Okay, yeah, I used to go in and carve this all in, it looked all right, but this is much cleaner. I really am digging this. All right, just lay down some paper because we're going to start sealing this today. Um, this helmet. I've been looking at it. I want to do a little bit of battle, uh, battle damage on it. Got my uh, ceramic cutting wheel. Got my rotary tool. What we definitely want to do first is before we do too many scratches, let's do some dents. And to do that, I have the... Uh, oops, sorry, right there. I got my uh, stone bit with the rounded end on it. This is really great for hammer metal techniques. So just to add a couple of little, little nicks and scratch, a little bit of bings in it. I'm liking this now. What I'm gonna do next is to focus on some of these uh, foam trim pieces. And um, this stuff is called a rapid fill. And what it is, it's a foam filler. Uh, I like it. Uh, this was made by Prop Monkey Studios, and he did it to seal foam. He just to brush it on, apply it, and sand it. Uh, I like to use it as a gap filler. I know, I know he really originally did not design that with the intention of doing that. But if your seams are not, now I'm not talking about big gaping seams like you could use with Quick Seal. I'm talking about the really subtle fine seams. That's what this is perfect for. So if your seams are not that bad, but they're still a little bit there, you can patch them up. Uh, and it's a little bit of a thick paste. I can show you guys real quickly. I like to take it with a take a spatula like so, 
I just laid it on like this. Now, the cool thing about Rapid Fill is that when it dries, you can sand it. I like to take a, a soft brush, and I'm going to go back over these guys on the uh, foam trim. It is plenty dry. I'm going to go ahead and grab some sandpaper. I got some, uh, what we got here? Got a little 240 grit. Um, normally I have 400, but I'm not in my shop. But I figured this would knock it down a little bit quicker. So let's go ahead. So you guys can see that. It's starting, look at that. Okay, all the rapid parts have been sanded. This looks great. Now we're going to go ahead and seal it with my creature cast. I'm going to have my cup, my chip brush, and what I'm using today, this is the CreatureCast 1 gallon semi-rigid. Now, even though know, it's non-toxic and water soluble, this stuff really sticks to your hands, so I like to wear gloves just to keep my hands clean. Let's start with the back sides here. Now the helmet is on the stand, I'm going to speed up the drying a little bit with the uh, hair dryer. All right, there you go. Take it off. Wow, look at that. Now, that is looking pretty slick. Again, now with the sealing the uh, hides the seams, guys can see it virtually covers the seams completely in the back here. Um, there's a little bit of texture I got in the creature cast, a little bit of chunks. Uh, what's so great about this, let this dry completely for a day. I'm going to come back with some 400 grit sandpaper and give it one little bit of light sanding before we start painting. But this looks awesome. Very, very happy. None shall pass! <laughs> Sorry, oh, took my glasses off. Again, guys, this is the night helmet. It came out great. Uh, I'm really happy with it. I'm going to let this dry a little bit longer because there's a little bit of texture to it, and I know for a fact with Creature Cast, when it gets completely dry, I can go back and lightly sand it with 400 grit. But I'm very, very happy with this helmet. If you guys like this helmet, don't forget, you get the link for it below the video, click on that. Uh, this video is from my live stream. I do every other week on twitch.tv slash Smith. While you're at it, don't forget to go to Twitch and follow me there, and go to my website, eviltedsmith.com. Get on my mailing list, go to my YouTube channel, the Evil Ted channel, and subscribe. Watching these videos and shopping through my links, guys, helps me keep making videos. If you like this helmet pattern, I have two more. <laughs> I got the Viking. I got the Samurai. These are all inspired for the game uh, for Honor. If you guys haven't seen that game. It's very cool. Um, our next step will be to paint this, but you have to come back for that later on Evil Ted Live. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you back next time right here on What? Evil Ted Live.